psychopath versus sociopath, what's the difference? When it comes to the terms psychopath and sociopath, many people tend to use them interchangeably, thinking that they both mean the same thing. However, in reality, there are significant differences between the two. Both psychopathy and sociopathy are classified as antisocial personality disorders, but they are very different from each other. In this video, we'll explore the five key differences between the two. The first major distinction between psychopaths and sociopaths is how they are created. Most psychologists will say that psychopathy is a disorder that you are born with. This means that the disorder is passed down through genetic coding, and if a member of your family is classified as a psychopath, you could very well be carrying the same traits that have classified them as one. On the other hand, sociopathy is more of a learned behavior that is influenced by environmental factors such as childhood trauma, a history of abuse, or how the individual was raised. The second difference between the two is emotional stability and criminal tendencies. Psychopaths are often more likely to commit crimes due to the fact that they lack the basic feelings of empathy that most other people have. They can be very cunning and manipulative, and they can spend copious amounts of time calculating their actions. In contrast, sociopaths tend to have anger issues and are more impulsive than psychopaths. This aggression, combined with their inability to cope with stress, can lead to dangerous situations. The third difference is in social interactions. Psychopaths tend to be very manipulative and imperious, with an ability to mask their true nature and use their charming character to influence others. They are highly skilled in faking their emotions and reading people's emotions to learn how to successfully manipulate them for their own gain. In contrast, sociopaths are often awkward and will avoid social interaction, leading others to label them as weird or a little off. The fourth difference between the two is brain differences. Medical research has shown that the brain function of a psychopath is critically different from that of normal individuals due to the fact that their brains are structured differently. Many psychopaths lack emotion regulation and have a hard time controlling their impulses. Sociopaths, on the other hand, often have a normal brain structure but may have experienced changes in brain function due to environmental factors, such as childhood trauma. The fifth and final difference is treatment options. While there is no cure for either disorder, psychopaths are often considered untreatable, while sociopaths may benefit from treatment options such as therapy or medication. However, the effectiveness of treatment options for both disorders is still a matter of debate. In conclusion, although psychopathy and sociopathy may seem similar, they are, in fact, very different. Psychopaths are often more calculated and manipulative, while sociopaths are more impulsive and have a problem with anger. While there is no cure for either disorder, understanding the differences between the two can help individuals recognize and seek appropriate treatment. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.